We've got the latest on the crisis over Ukraine. Russia's government released video of troops conducting drills over the weekend and video of missiles being launched. This morning, Reuters is reporting that Russia claims to have killed five Ukrainians who they say were trying to cross a border on a sabotage mission. Ukraine says they have no forces in that area. Charlie Daggett is in Ukraine with more on the story. Charlie gets more and more confusing. We know that President Biden has agreed to meet with Vladimir Putin if there's no invasion. But you got to say, these are very ominous images. Good morning to you. Yes. Good morning to you, Gail. The, the whole purpose uh, of those exercises was a show of force to the world. But where it matters most, of course, is here. Ukrainians don't need reminding that their forces are no match to Russia's military in the event of a full-scale invasion. But the overwhelming majority of people here believe, or at least hope, that President Putin's aim is to launch a limited invasion to the east, where uh, Ukrainian forces have been battling Russian separatists for years. Now, we went there over the weekend, and there has been a dramatic escalation in shelling. And you may have seen, we've seen those pictures showing uh, civilians be, being evacuated. Um, and the fear is that President Putin may use that as a pretext to send in troops in order to protect ethnic Russians. However, no one is more hopeful of a diplomatic solution than the Ukrainians themselves. They feel they're trapped uh, between Russia and NATO and don't want to see that battle played out on their own soil. Vlad? All right, Charlie Daggett in Ukraine for us. Charlie, thank you very much.